started a run here, gonna be about eight miles, 2,000 feet of elevation gain in Thorsmark, Iceland, kind of like south central region. Just kind of mapped a perimeter of route. I don't really know the name of any. I think there's some good climbs, but I don't know the names of any hills or mountains or trails, but uh, of course, Iceland's one of the most diverse geographical landscapes, so. Hopefully get to run on, on some interesting stuff. I like this trail already. Let's see where it goes. Some power hiking. I think I was supposed to go around that way. Came straight up here. A little confusing, but a bit of an overlook here. Some rock formations and then the typical barren landscape out in the back plus uh, some snow covered stuff that's pretty neat down there i thought didn't look cool but having a didn't look super cool it was nice of course but up here with a better vantage point it's a nice view it'd be cool to run over there with um the complete lack of trees and that being so open Great panoramic views here. such a diverse landscape you got the glacier here then a wide but not very deep river and then that way it's just more glaciers way in the back plus just green open hills it's really cool I find the steps harder to run than if it was just uh, smooth. But I did uh, 15 miles yesterday in Reykjavik. It was supposed to be like 12, but I got a little lost. And I definitely feel my legs definitely feel a bit heavy from that. Really, though, I find that mountain runs or hilly runs. I don't know if this is a mountain. tighten up pretty bad. I'll have to, you know, do a lot of, well, this is way too steep to run anyway, but do a lot of run walk mix. Whereas I kind of loosen it up through that first climb. And then once I get past that, or I take a little break, I'll feel fine to run more stuff, but not running. I think it's probably over 20% right right here. So the whole run's 2,000 feet of gain, but I think, wow, I think this first climb is like 800 feet or so, and that's in the first 0.7 miles or so, so I don't know, I don't think the rest should be this difficult. Sorry, this is this shaky? I use a... Uh, a gimbal for my lots of branching paths. I don't. It's cool, but I don't know where that goes. I use a gimbal for my hiking videos, so it keeps it smooth. But it's a really bulky gimbal, so I can't fit it in my pack for running. I'll probably maybe get like a smaller gimbal or something next summer or something like that.
rivers. Oh, this is awesome. So, peak of this hill or mountain. Got the start down there. Views, awesome views and every direction to a little panoramic. We got a bunch of cars down there. Be tough to gotta drive through the stream to get there. Oh, so that's uh, the famous volcano. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Aphidiacal or something like that. That's in the uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. And some other cool, a lot of cool just the mountains and hills in the area. These are my forest navigation, which until yesterday I thought was really bad. And I realized that you can zoom in and see your own track, which I did not know. Oh. So a pretty awesome summit. This is this is definitely more scenic than anything in the eastern US. Which is nice because so far I was thinking this is as scenic as the eastern US. But this is epic. Yeah, they did the uh, Lauder Vega Ultra Marathon. My dad did that, so I'm here. Uh, finished it down there. I was thinking uh, the views are nice, but for Iceland the standards aren't. It's not. It's a high standard. I wasn't super impressed, and then up here it's really cool. All right, get going on the downhill, and then see what else I have. Came down the mountain, decently steep descent, but all runnable, not too technical. And come out to the uh, river I was uh, pointing down up before. Nice cave over there. I actually made a route where you can cross this and then you go up some mountain on the other side. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow, we'll see. Shows kind of the trails over there. But I think, I'm supposed to go that general direction. I'm not sure if that's a trail marker. <laughs> Looks like I'm following the orange trail. Uh, honestly, after like 20 meters, I have no clue where it goes. I find the trails to be kind of confusing here, I guess, but not a problem. Uh, yeah, now I'm kind of in the, uh, I don't know what you call this, it's not really a valley, but like lowlands between the two uh, ridges. So that side looks really cool. A lot of snow over there. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll get up early and go over, go over there tomorrow. Um, so I'll continue on about two and a half miles in. And let's see, just 5.73 miles to the finish. Going up 915 feet, and I think just about all of that was in the first three quarters of a mile. So it won't be a super strenuous up down route, which would be fun, but um, it's also easy to kind of just get moving and not, you know, slog with the 20% grade alternate run hike. And, you know, that can wear you, wear you out pretty quickly, especially like today. I wasn't really planning on a, a big run, I think it's like 5 p.m. or something like that. Yeah, but I heard 41 minutes, probably 20 minutes of running or so, because he's stopping to film and stuff. 4.59. And two and a half miles, exactly. Back into the woods. So 
Same area. I was just, uh, that last viewpoint was from that rock uh, over there, I think, just above the river. So I've, uh, I've gone up a bit. I don't know, maybe 1,200 feet elevation again now. It's a good grade. It's, it's challenging, but a lot of it is runnable. So you don't just have to resort to a power hiking slide. You can, like, I don't know. Um, this last bit was uh, power hiking because that was steep. And then it's more gradual. So I'll try running that. Uh, something I'm not used to is kind of the European, I'm guessing European style, where the trail, maybe European and out west, but not really an east coast thing, uh, US east coast thing from what I've experienced, but uh, just like the trail so sloped and narrow. So if you slipped off the side of the trail, you could you know, fall really awkwardly, pull something, or just, you know, take a tumble down the side. That's a little sketchy to me, uh, but I'm not pushing today, so just taking it careful and enjoying the change of scenery. Rocky cliffside trail here. Uh, I think it's about the end of the second climb. I don't know if I'm going up that. I don't think so. It looks pretty steep. I've already gone up a lot. Wow, just got pretty cold. I go along so that's an option. came up this trail. Poor gentle grade, but the legs aren't really feeling it, so climb is just tough. This might be the high point of the route. I believe I'm done climbing because the trail's gonna make a sharp left here. Go down. This part, these parts are really fast technical running up on that uh, cliff. That was my last point over there that I filmed from. That is a little less runnable. And I was also worried about like you know, you go too fast, too reckless. You don't want to fall off the side of a cliff. So I don't know what this river's called, but it's just an awesome area. <sighs> Definitely undervalued this one. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting. I, wasn't ex I, I knew the scenery would be good, but I wasn't expecting some epic trails. I think about halfway. Should be like two-thirds to three-fourths of the way done with the climbing though so hopefully just smooth sailing on the way back wish i brought my um uh, tripod or the screw in on the bottom so then i could be really cool that actual footage of me running next to this stuff uh this base is super uneven so i wouldn't be able to get that maybe maybe in the next one Uh, different landscape view now with the green hills and then the mountains and snow in the background now that I've gotten over this uh, edge came down that trail over there that was the point and that was cool stopping on the film which I guess is good for the video but it does kind of make four mile run and been out here for like an hour and a half so just like a speed thing trail you can see it kind of winding along these cliffs another total landscape change just so diverse but uh, pretty runnable cool ridge trail along here some small ups and downs I'm getting pretty tired now. I'm only at six miles, but I don't know. Maybe just having that longer run. I don't usually, most mountain days, I don't know if you call this a true mountain run, but you know, big trail days, I don't have a longer run before. Uh, more runnable here and didn't have the super steep slopes, so I didn't have to, uh, but since I'm back there, so I didn't have to take it super careful. 
on the red trail now. I don't really know what that means or uh, where any of these trails go other than following my watch. But I was on the orange trail before, which you can see down there, maybe a couple hundred feet down. Whew, I think a uh, mile to go, mile and a half. Uh, coming full circle here, because we got, that's the first peak I ran up, I think. And the views from earlier, plus the river, came up on those cliffs all the way that way, and then went towards that bigger mountain, and then on this ridge trail back. So now I can actually, it's a bunch of like dance down there and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's where I started. A mile to go or so. Back at the uh, start point, the volcano huts. Eight and a half miles, 2,500 feet of gain. Super cool run. So that was the first mountain I went up. Might have something tomorrow, but either way, I'll be doing some cool stuff next week.